This is a note on how to install the TI Titanium or the TI-89 software. It's in both the same software packages into the TI calculator. This is a navigation software, state of the art uh, for marine uh, piloting and uh, celestial navigation computations. And you download the software at uh, starpilotllc.com and, um, and there's also instructions then for installing the software right here. And that's this document down here and we'll be looking at that in a minute. So you download that and follow these instructions. This video is just a sort of a video annotation of what's in this document here. And the, and the reason you would do this or install is uh, either buy a calculator on your own to install the program and save, uh, save some money over buying the preloaded version or you may have a calculator calculator of your own that's uh, old and you want to maybe update to the latest version and uh, in, in when you're buying a when you're starting from scratch and then we always ask you to go and go get your calculator wherever you're going to get it and then um, download the program and install it as shown today and then when you get to the uh, this screen it means that you've installed it properly and it's ready to go this number here is a fingerprint for the computer I mean for the calculator you just need a key that unlocks it and you're then once you got this you purchase a serial number and then with the serial number plus that code you can get the key and that unlocks it and that assigns that software to that calculator it's, it's permanent so you have to then insure the calculator for the price of the star pilot um, to account for all your expenses on it because there's no way to uh, no way to remove it or to apply it to another calculator if you lose that calculator uh, you, you start from scratch uh, the other uh, the other method is updating the other use of this procedure is updating uh, uh, updating a calculator software from an older version I'll show that when we're done so you download the software here I'm gonna look at that in a moment and then uh, or we could do that now you just go here and you download the program and if you just see download that and then you see there's the program that it downloads sp89 latest one dot zip cancel I've already got that program in a uh, let's see here it's right right here this is a um, this that's it comes down as a zip file comes down as a zip file like this and then when you uh, un uh, click it you can unzip it um, you unzip it and there's the file that you want build uh, that's the build number and then here's that file so in a moment we'll come back and actually use that uh, now the uh, now we're back to the instructions that you download what do we got okay the proper cable the TI-89 comes with a, this is a USB cable again I have a 90 degree angle one that's some special ones laying around here in the office but the one that comes with it is actually not uh, straight in straight like this like that it doesn't matter which one this is just a regular USB cable comes with a brand new calculator if you buy a used calculator probably wouldn't have that but those cables are only a few dollars uh, online now if that and that and that's for the uh, titanium for the uh, for the um, 89 you'll have to have one of these cables it looks like this it's got that kind of connector and this now this will work this cable called the graph link that's uh, that's described here in this article here's a graph link here's you, here's where you buy it and that will work on the 89 in fact you have to have that for the 89 for the titanium you can use either one okay so that's that then you go here to TI connect well let's see if we can see what link that's going to um, oh maybe it doesn't show the link no it doesn't but that's a link at T Texas Instruments where you can Oh, there's a link right there to uh, education.ti.com you download the software and we're gonna need that software and that software has an icon that looks like this and when you open it up it looks like this we're coming back to that in a minute okay that's step two you download the connector now we prepare the calculator okay and I have to reach around I got a strange sort of setup here with this calculator and a camera viewing it um, but so here's the process we t just turn the calculator on it doesn't matter 
in principle, it shouldn't matter what you were doing with it or what was loaded or what's not loaded. This process should get you going. So you turn on the calculator, second quit, enter, clear. Now, okay, so that is, let me see, here's the second button, this blue one. Second. And then the second quit, then the quit is right here. You see the second quit and then enter. And now there's nothing there, but I'm going to go ahead and hit clear right here, clear. Okay, so that second quit and clear, and then you end up with this screen. Remember, when you say second, then what, that, what this key then that normally is escape, when you hit second, it becomes quit. This key down here, number six, when you hit second, that becomes memory. We're going to use that in the next step. Okay, so now we want to do second memory, F13, and enter. So you do, uh, let's see, I'm try this finger, second memory that's this six key right here memory second memory f1 that's this guy f1 and then the number three that is here and then enter now i'm not even reading the screen you could read the screen if you want to but you just follow those keys all right so if you're doing an 89 you would be done the 89 does not have this kind of what's called in the in the titanium 80 titanium this is called the apps screen it's a mode that shows the apps you have installed and so forth now we uh, that that's not in the 89 and furthermore and for running the star pilot we can't have that active so we have to get rid of that and that's what the next step does it applies to the uh, applies to the titanium so we do mode f3 so where's the mode see here's the mode and there's f3 so i do uh, uh, mode f3 now then at mode F3 and then arrow down. You can see here, I'm going to arrow down with this key here. So I'm going to arrow down one, two. That's now it's on the it's on the app desktop. Then I'm going to go over here, go over to the right, and it's a, it's a on now. I'm going to shut it off. I go up. Now I have to hit enter down at the bottom here to register that. I mean to choose to select the off. And now I do one more. To save it. Okay, so that's done. Then press enter. Okay, download the star pilot. Okay, we've done that. We've downloaded it, and there's the file right there. And uh, now, TI Connect. Open the TI Connect. We've got the proper cable. This says, con and when you open, th this is just another step here. It's got this sort of picture, TI Capture, Screen Capture. Let's click that, and then here's a screen capture. And I just want to do that. Oh, it's not connected. Somehow, okay, cancel, uh, cancel. Okay, let me just cancel that. Uh, I'm on a virtual machine on a Mac, and I must it must have timed out. Okay, let me try that again. It, no, on a normal PC, that step is missing. <laughs> you wouldn't have to do that. Okay, screen capture, and now here's a screen capture. And uh, it's looking at that. Oh, it, there's nothing there. Well, that's all that's there. So it did, in fact, capture the screen that's, you see, what is captured here is here. Now, this is, we, we, I'm doing this just to test that we have the cable connected properly before we go on. And that's the answer is yes. Now, in fact, though, you can come back later. The, this calculator will do all kind of graphing and plotting and display numbers and, you know, sunrise, sunset, all, all the numbers that are crucial during the day. There's all and uh, graphs of the best sites, uh, plots of um, celestial fixes and so forth. Uh, and no, you can use those, a three-body, horizontal, sextant angle fixes, all sorts of sophisticated computations that have some sort of graphical output. Now, you could connect it to a computer with this connect and then save these screens to archive those results if you wanted to. We do not need that. This whole window here is related to that screen capture. We don't need that. Do you want to save it? No. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Let's go back to the instructions here. Now we want to go step six. You got to go hit restore. And then after restore, we're going to load the program file that we just did. That's this one. We're going to highlight the file, say open, and then OK. Okay, so we're going to say restore. 
That's this one. Now this is on the desktop. Oh, here's a desktop. Let me see if I can find it. Right here it is. I highlighted it. I say open and then I say OK. Now it's uh, doing the, uh, on the calculator itself, you don't see much receiving. It's rec you just see these receiving signals over there. And that, uh, I guess I could pause here, but um, uh, I just want to see that this all works right. And uh, if you, the other thing is w the screens look a little bit different when you have the program already installed. And I'll, and I'll show that uh, just, a, uh, just a minute. And uh, this process with those steps we've just shown, we've never seen it fail if you follow through exactly those steps. Now, we have people call us or send an email or something and something's not working. But generally, if you trace it down and you do those steps, just like it's shown here in this video, it should work. Okay, so let's go back to our instructions. Uh, now, um, we have that done. Uh, restore, you will find. Now we go to step seven, press second var link. This is going to initialize it. So there's the second, and there's the var link. So we're going to push this key and then this one. So second, and then var link here, and then second var link, and then arrow down to setup, SP setup, arrow down, one, two, arrow down, SP setup, and then enter. Enter. Okay, now what? Um, oh, okay. Now an important part right here. Finish the command by pressing this key here. That is this one. Now this is just an unusual behavior the way this way this program works, way the way the programming in the TI-89 works. So for that function to work, you gotta you gotta always do that. So sometimes people miss that step. But now, uh, now I can, uh, let's see, then, then you should see that, which you should uh, see, then you should see that, and the bottom of the screen, then press enter. Bang. Okay. So now that will then unarchive, un, you know, it's sort of uncompressing all the files, and it's loading these programs into the ROM. So it's stored in the ROM. And then when you run the program, it actually loads them back out of the ROM into the RAM, the read, or maybe I have this backwards. Random access memory. No, RAM, yeah. And then, okay, let me stop myself here. And then you see more. You see the more you press enter, enter, like that. And there we are. Then the, then the program is installed. The program's installed. Uh, and it should be asking for a key. Now, what will happen is then you go from here, let's see, then you'll go here to register the software. Let me just see if that, now that's a link from the PDF instructions that takes you here. And then I say I've read the instructions and tells me what's going on. And then you choose, uh, you choose a calculator. I mean, you choose your version here. Now, 89 and titanium are the same. So you would use 89, put your name, just the red stuff you need. You don't need this other stuff. Um, uh, and then that's it. And then you put whatever, hello world, and then submit. Um, and then on the screen, you'll get the key. Now, when we ship these out, we, we tape the key on the inside of the device here, which is a good idea you would do yourself. Write it on there and then put a piece of tape so you don't lose it. So I can go to this one and it, what was it, 867? 867, enter. And there's the star pilot and that's working and uh, so forth. Now, let's say you've got a calculator and, and so that's the process and that works so you're not to be afraid just to take your time you have to have the right cables be sure you can get a screen capture if you can't get a screen capture then you're not connected if you have trouble getting connected then you actually can call ti ti has good online telephone support and if something if ti connect is not working then they will help you with that and we haven't seen a bad calculator. These things are made for high school kids. They've been out for 15 or 20 years. They're really rugged. You can drop them. We had one fellow dropped one off the gang. Well, 
I, re- I reluctantly say this. You're not supposed to do this. But he was getting off a ship and dropped it off the, you know, getting off the ship and dropped it about 16 feet, hit the cement, broke the case, and it still works fine. But anyway, that's not to be done. But they are rugged. There are two sets of batteries, uh, and read the instructions on the batteries. You only change one set at a time. One lasts for six years. One lasts for five years. So it's very good. So now you have this in here. And again, as far as the computations go, it's state of the art. So you have this in here now. And suppose you want to uh, see this is running. If I did, I can go down like number three. What is three? Site reduction. And then it's going to ask me uh, moon, star, planet. Let's say I want a, a star. That's number two. Uh, and then you s- the watch time and so forth. It'll keep asking you for all the stuff. And then you can do, I want to get out of here. Let's see if escape will get me out. Escape won't get me out. Second quit. Okay, second quit gets me out. Now, uh, second quit is what bails. Escape just sort of interrupts a sequence of inputs, usually. Uh, but second quit is a more powerful interruption and cl- backup. It's a more powerful escape. So, uh, and now I've got it. So what I did was I, I did second quit. Now, let me go back to our instructions here. I want to show you something. If we're doing, we're starting from scratch. So we're up here, second quit. I did second quit. Now I'm going to hit clear. Clear. Now at this point, I even from within this, if I had one of my own, well, wait a minute, before I do that, I better be careful here. If you get to this mode and you don't have Star Pilot anymore, you read the manual and it tells you to press green diamond and one. Green diamond and one. And that takes you back to the Star Pilot in principle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, uh, suppose you have a calculator. You wonder, what is the version number I have? In other words, do I have the latest version? And that would be in settings. There's four screens of settings. So you would just hit one. Then you got uh, settings two. Uh, that's setting two, setting three, and then settings four. And then down here on the support info is six. Six. So that's where you find out you have, that's where uh, you see the version that you have. Then you look online to see is that the latest or not. These are updated about every seven years. Um, that account, and the only thing changing, nothing's changed in the program for over 10 years. But every seven years or so, the, the, the magnetic field constants, this has a this program, this calculator has a function, <coughs> excuse me, calculates very accurate magnetic variation, more accurate than on the chart. And so it'll calculate that variation, magnetic variation, any place on Earth. But um, every seven years, we have to update that to get the latest values. If yours is old, and the only, if yours is past seven years, then what will happen is you try to run it and say it can't do the calculation. But then just change the date that you're asking for. Change to the year earlier and you'll get the variation. And they change just minutes per year, so it's not a big deal. So that's the process. If I'm here and I want to, let's say I have a calculator here, and now I want to install, I want to install an upgrade. So starting right here, you'd start right here. Second quit. Where is that? Second, quit, quit, enter, and clear, right? Once you got that, then you're ready to go here. Second, memory, um, second, memory, F1, three, and enter. Okay, and there you are, and so forth. Then it works the same way. So that's the process, and we'll put this up there. And in the uh, then, what I'll do actually is go in here and on these instructions, I'll put a link to this video we just we, we you're watching right now.